Hey guys, it's Adrian and I'm another video. Tutorial today, I'm going to show you guys how to remove the hard drive out of a HP DVD4 series laptop computer. Alright, so basically what happened to this computer is the, the screen died about a month and a half ago. Um, it just would not do anything and I couldn't use the computer. Um, and I figured it wasn't worth it to replace the screen or replace the computer itself because it's about five years old, the Windows, this, the PC. So I, I recently bought a shell um, right here, which I'll be detailing later in the video. Um, and I decided I will take the um, hard drive out of the computer to, to salvage the information, maybe use the hard drive later on. Right, so the first thing you want to do while you're doing this project and, and while, while taking the computer apart is, of course, take the battery out. Even though, like I said, the computer has been dead um, and is not workable for the last month, um, I will take the battery out, and it's always a good good thing to do because you never know uh, what can happen um, if, if there's any if there's any electricity left in it at all. Um, let's go ahead and do this on this particular computer, the DV4 series by HP. On um, on the bottom, there is a a uh, is a latch. You basically pull, and um, if you pull it hard enough, I believe it takes a minute or two. Let me see here. If you pull it hard enough to the right and where, like away from where where the original was, the battery will pop out like so. And just put the battery to the side, um, like this. And then once your battery is out, then you want to focus on getting your hard drive out. And then you then again, you're on the bottom of the computer again. And the top right, if you have the battery, if you have the battery side facing you, like I do, um, the the panel will be in the top be in the top left, um, it's vented, and there are two screws, like so, right here, and right here, you just want to take your Phillips screwdriver that you have, I have a couple different uh, varieties for a di couple different screws, a big version, a medium version, and the two smaller versions, any, any, any of these will work though, and you just want to loosen the screws to get the latch up, like so, I have previously done this so it's a little bit easier for, the, for time's sake. In this uh, in this tutorial, so you just put the latch um, to the side, like you, like you did with the battery, and then you want to get your um, hard drive out. And like I said, I heard I've already done this, um, so to save some time. But the battery will be is uh, or sorry, the hard drive is actually is is in within a little case um, underneath the door. And there are three screws holding this um, little little case or whatever you want to call it down. And one is on the top right, and two are on like the side, and um, they're pretty discreet. One is on the on the left, one is on the right side. Uh, the one on the right side I actually had trouble with. I actually pulled out the hard drive and then found the screw. So uh, you want to keep in mind with that. But what you want to do in order to get the hard drive out. Um, is pull up like so. I'll just do this even though it's already out. You pull it up, and then the whole casing will come out, and um, you should be able to then unscrew it. There's four screws, uh, but in my case, what actually happened with me is I got the top, I got the two screws out, and I kind of wiggled it around a little bit, and was able to um, get just the hard drive out like this. So it looks like this. You can see, you can see this. It's just a hard drive, like so. And I set this to the side immediately. But then I will show you what it what uh, remains is the is the little um, casing. Let me turn this around so you can see it. Um, you can see it on this side of the screen. Scan this up, sorry. Right here. Right, my right, my fingers is right here. That's that's the casing, and it's still in there. It's still intact. It's a little bit worn because I had to dig it out. But um, yeah, it you, it works either way. I re I recommend just taking the casing out and then just unscrewing it. But it works either way. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. How to get the hard drive out of the PC and how to get it out of the computer, and then you want to put it in your shell, which I already detailed, and that video will be placed right here. Okay, after you take the hard drive out of the computer, uh, it's time to put it in the external shell that I 
have right here. I got the shell on Amazon for about six dollars or so. I put the link below in the description. Um, this, this particular device um, comes with the comes with the shell itself and comes with the topper, um, the the bu the bus topper, the connector that connects that connects to the buses that are right here. And we'll be doing this um, like so. Um, you just connected the, the little port and the big port to the little to the little port and the big port on the hard drive. Um, so like so, so you can see. It takes a minute or two to make sure it's connected. You'll, 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 it'll be nice and snug. You can put it in there, and then we can uh, if you hold this for me. And we'll hold this. And you just drop it in like so. Um, I, I recommend that you do screw it in. The, the, the um, packaging that I got right here, you can see it. There's, there's screws on all four sides. I do recommend this, especially if you're, you're going to be housing it in the, in the unit. Um, and then you simply, the top has the USB and has an indicator light. Once you put it in your computer, you just put the USB like so. It takes a, takes a little bit of force. And then you can plug the other side of the USB into the um, USB on your PC. And we'll take about a minute or two depending on the size of your hard drive, uh, the size of your hard drive that you want to get the information from. To connect, uh, for me it took about I want to say five minutes or so. It came it came up as a local drive F, um, but yeah, um, the computer that I'm using is actually a Windows 7. I tried it on a Windows XP. It did not work, um, so I have to go back and test it. I, I could definitely I would definitely play around with that. If you have a Windows 8 as well, um, you may want to play around with that as well. So that's basically it for this video. Um, if you need any help, please let me know. You can comment below. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like. I, I try to do as many video tutorials as possible. I figured this, this would help a lot of people because so, so I haven't seen a lot of this on the internet. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Give it a like if you enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Have a nice day. Bye bye.